individual groups. And I can continue editing, changing colors, and reshaping the shape of my eagle with all the other Adobe tools. So we have now successfully converted a JPEG into a vector graphic using the Image Trace tool. Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a gradient-based Infinity logo all from scratch in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and I've created a new document a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the view menu at the top, make sure my smart guides are turned on, my snap to point is turned on and snap to pixel is turned off. Next, we're going to grab the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to draw a circle. And with that circle selected, just select none as the fill. So we just have a black stroke. And we'll put that in the middle there. And then go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. This creates another copy of that circle. And we can hold down Alt and Shift on the keyboard and left click from one of the corners to scale to the center. Now this area in the middle is going to be white. We're going to knock that out later in the tutorial so we can actually see through that. So next we're going to select this smaller circle and again, edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Definitely some shortcuts there worth learning, but we're going to hold shift and scale up from one of the top corners until it snaps and aligns to this top edge. So these two need to be level. And we're going to do the same again. We can go edit, copy and paste in place, or what we can do is just with our shape selected, hold alt and shift and drag down. Now shift will keep it perfectly vertically straight and alt will create a copy of that shape. And again, we can zoom in, check these both line up. Now this is quite important because otherwise if the, some shapes don't line up later in the tutorial, things will get quite complicated. Okay, so now we can drag over everything and from the alignment panel on the right, if you don't see that, just go to window and down to align. What we're going to do is align these horizontally in the center like this. And we can then select that medium circle and again, hold Alt and Shift. We'll drag that down to create one more copy. And then we'll just shift that copy to the left. So it lines up with that left edge. Now at the moment, all of these shapes have a stroke weight applied. They have some styling. If you'd like to see a wireframe view that removes any styling, just to check everything lines up perfectly, you can go into outline mode by press pressing Command or Control Y. And we can see a wireframe there. Everything looks good to me. And it's Command or Control Y to come out of outline mode. So we're not going to do one on this right side here. But what we are going to do next is drag over everything and I think I'll just move this up here and again we can either go to edit copy and then paste in place or just hold alt and shift and drag down and we're then going to hover over one of the corners and rotate this around and you can see the number of degrees here now we need 180 degrees it's quite hard to get this manually as you can see so if we just hold down shift it will snap to 45 degree increments. So we can get that 180 rotation nice and easy. And we're now going to drag this 